We have specified our systems from minus 20 up to 50 degree uh, operating temperature and even more uh, storage temperature. That means these systems really must uh, behave the same at every temperature and, and, and uh, deliver the, the correct measurements. So what, what we are doing, we put uh, a scanner into a climate chamber and start the measurements to determine these calibration parameters. Uh, then it resides in the calibration chamber and uh, we change temperature down to minus 20 degrees. Then we accommodate the instruments to this, te uh, to this temperature. That means every, every mechanics is settled to this temperature and then we, we repeat these measurements. And the same is done at plus 50 degree and then again down to room temperature. So we have a whole chain of measurements over the complete temperature range uh, which is specified for our instrument <coughs> and then uh, some mathematical uh, estimation process out of all these measurements and configuration is started to determine these parameters. So what we get at the end are parameters for the instrument which holds for the complete temperature range so that at every temperature we can correct or measure the influences of these axes as I mentioned uh, and apply them to the raw measurement to in, in, in at the end uh, deliver the correct values.